What's going on guys? Uh, my dad is out of town, so I have no one to dive with. Um, but uh, I have a special video planned for today. Uh, it's a little bit different, uh, something I haven't done before, and that is opihi picking. We're gonna go down to the coast and um, look for opihi, which are, if you guys don't know, they're Hawaiian limpets. They're like little cone-shaped uh, snails that live on the rocks. And um, they taste really, really good raw. I've only had them once before in my life because usually I'm going for fish and my grandma prepared them for me. So this time, uh, it's gonna be me preparing them. Uh, I've caught them before, I've gone out to catch them, but I usually always just give them away or I put them back. But, uh, you know, it's this time I'm gonna catch them and then cook it for you guys uh, for the first time. So, um, looking forward to that. Um, so, basically there's a little bit of technique uh, going into picking opihi that makes it slightly difficult aside from the uh, the ocean aspect the safety factors which I will go into later in the video once we get to the actual spot but um there's a little bit of uh, some technique um, so opihi spend their lives uh, glued onto a rock they like they stick to rocks and they eat algae off of the rocks and they live in places where waves hit them a lot. So uh, they need to be super strong and because they're super strong, it can be hard to get them off of the rocks. So what you need to do is you need to get a knife or something flat and um, kind of sharp. And you get the, when you see a good size OP that you want, they have to be an inch and a quarter, um, according to the DLNR website for um, Hawaii. They need to be an inch and a quarter across the shell to be legal or a half inch on their meat to be legal. So um, once you find one that's around that size, you take your knife and you don't touch the opihi because if you touch it, it's going to suction down as hard as it can because it thinks you're a predator, which technically you are. And it's going to suction down as hard as it can and you won't be able to get it off without potentially killing it. and. Uh, you have to you're gonna have to measure it um, first so you want to keep them alive it's in your best interest to keep them alive so you're gonna want to uh, be really fast as soon as you get your knife in one smooth motion you're gonna shove the knife underneath pry it off and then grab the shell so um, that's just that's all there really is to it and I will go into the other difficulties of finding opihi once we get to the spot but I'm gonna go get ready and I'm excited, let's get to the beach. All right guys, we are at here for the spot where we're gonna be looking for opihis and ama crabs, stuff like that, uh, just to catch and eat. Um, so opihis, uh, they like to live on rocks, usually a sharp reef, and um, where waves are breaking because they like that feeling of getting hit by the waves. So you, when you're looking for opihis, you're gonna wanna look for spots that um, hit, get hit by a lot of surf and get, get hit by a lot of surf constantly. And it doesn't have to be big surf necessarily. Like if you look where I am right now, uh, you can't really see it because it's out of focus, but the waves are not that big. And um, so it's not super dangerous, but uh, a lot of places that do have opihis, the big ones are dangerous. So uh, a lot of people die um, every year just from not paying attention to the water or they go out alone. Um, to look for opihi, so you're always gonna want to have a partner. Today, I do actually have a partner. It's my girlfriend. You can see her up there. Um, she's gonna be helping me out today, keeping me safe. Um, and that's what you want to do when you go for opihi, because it can be quite dangerous. Um, you can get smashed against the rocks when you're not looking, and dragged out to sea, and no one will ever find you. So um, you're gonna always want to have a partner who's gonna be out there, ready to let you know when there's a wave coming, um, and let you know. Uh, if you should get out of there or if you should move or if you should brace yourself and they're also there to call 911 if you need help so uh, yeah with that being said I'm gonna grab my girlfriend who's sitting over there right now and then we're gonna go uh, grab some opihi so let's get into it looking for right there these ones are a little small so here I'll just get one off to show you you just want to take your knife stick them under this is what we're looking for so I'm just gonna put this guy back where I found him just hold him there on the rock and my girlfriend's watching my back for me then you let him go and they suction on so we're gonna be looking for a little bit bigger ones than that and uh, 
yeah, just try and get some to eat. I think that's from here to here or from here to here and then if you only have the meat the meat has to be a half inch in diameter so this guy is most likely legal because I measure by my thumb here from here to here is about an inch so if I go and put my the bottom of my thumb across the shell you can see that it's easily an inch and a half so this guy is probably legal Um, yeah, but we're gonna let a lot of these guys go. Um, if you look at the cooler here, 
we've got quite a bit of them. So we're just gonna measure them all out, and then uh, we'll probably get a tape measure and uh, make sure they're uh, for sure legal before we uh, uh, take them home. But uh, we're gonna go put these guys back, and then as we're going, we're gonna go look for trash uh, to try and help out the reef a little bit uh, since we're taking from it. So, all right, I'll see you guys in the kitchen. All right, guys, we have them sorted out. Here's the ones we're keeping. As you can see, they're all pretty big. And then we got the big boy over here. Oh, we have one over here. And then a couple more big ones. And then here's the ones we're letting go. As you can see, they're all they're all good size, just a little bit small though. So we're gonna let these go. And then um, as I let them go, I'm going to try and pick up some trash, uh, just clean up a little bit. So yeah, we're gonna go do that now. Whoever did this, you are disgusting, and I hope that someday you pay for your act. That's disgusting! Oh my god! There's a fish in there! There's two fish in there! That's disgusting. Not only wasteful, but disgusting. my finger pretty good. I don't know if you can see it. And then, well, that's when I got pushed into the wall. Okay guys, so some of the um, OPEs, they have the sand that's stuck to their, their meat and you don't want to keep that on there because when people are eating it, they might break their teeth so we're going to just rinse that off.
good. It doesn't really taste like anything. It's just like salt water. Alright guys, that is it for today's video. I'm back at home. Thank you so much for watching. Honestly, hunting for OPE was super fun. Almost as fun as like I have when I'm diving and I'm having a good day. Um, it was a lot of fun, you know, the waves hitting me and uh, the adrenaline of having to watch my back and uh, be careful, you know, on the rocks and trying to find the right size OPE and then shucking them. It was just a ton of fun. I definitely would do it again. And they taste pretty good. Um, from what I remember, they taste pretty good. Um, and it was pretty much the same this time, uh, although the first time I tried it was quite a while ago, but um, Yeah, it, my reaction in the video wasn't that crazy um, Because when I first tried it without anything on it, it didn't taste like much But when I put like it uh, put it in a shoyu butter sauce, it was super super good and I definitely would go for it again um, One quick thing before I end the video. Uh, thank you for watching But before I end the video if you know where this spot is like from uh, the recording if you can tell where it is or if you can figure out where it is because I know there's some detectives out there uh, Who like to look at pictures and videos and try and find out where the spot is But if you do figure it out, I have nothing against that But if you do figure it out and if you do um, Know where this spot is. I just ask that you be selective, you know um, There were a lot of OP there, but a lot of them were undersized So I just ask like take only what you need and if you, what you need is too much then just uh, you know leave some behind like if they're borderline legal size uh just leave them behind like it's just opihis are getting harder and harder to find especially good size ones they're getting harder and harder to find on oahu especially um so i would like to keep that place uh um you know full of these little opihis that will eventually that will eventually become bigger and um you know more people can eat them so uh yeah just if you find out where it is and if you go there just practice being selective you know don't just pound all of the ops there and you know i have nothing against people going to spots like i know it's public you know there's, it's as much of your right to go there as it is mine so just you know uh, i just want that spot to stay as good as it is because it's pretty hard to find ops nowadays and especially on oahu so um, just practice being careful, being selective, and uh, stay safe. And thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.